Praise God, brothers and sisters. You know, I want each one of you to give God a hearty praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because he is so good to us and for us. Today I'm going to talk about wrestling. And I guess you would say, oh, she does a lot of that. But we're going to wrestle with wicked witchcraft and winning. WWW. Amen. In this season of spiritual darkness, are you having witchcraft dreams? Flicker Christine Zenin Ho. It started a little later than usual, but spiritual witchcraft is rising and rising rapidly. In South Florida this October, my community is home to a large population of witches, pagans, Wiccans, and other heathens who practice one form of witchcraft or another. Your community may not have palm trees and benches or beaches, but it's likely got a few witches, pagans, Wiccans, and heathens practicing witchcraft. Believe it or not, they're all over the world, saints. A quick scan of the latest news reveals that reports of witchcraft-related child abuse are on the rise in London. Two children were tortured and dumped on the streets over witchcraft in Aqua, Ibom. A pastor who runs several churches in Kambu and Meru was found practicing witchcraft. Authorities have tied Texas drug smugglers to witchcraft, cartels, and a house explosion, and seven people accused of witchcraft were burnt to death in Tanzania. You know we don't burn witches to the stake today. Amen? When I first moved to South Florida, I battled Jezebel and her witchcraft. You can see 2 Kings 9.22 because everything we're discussing, it is scriptural with limited success for at least a year before I learned to discern the attack of this spiritual enemy at its onset. Submit myself to God's word. Resist the devil and command it to flee in the name of Jesus. See James 4 and 7. And that's from the Amplified Version. Now, I am much quicker to sense witchcraft operating in the spirit, but sometimes witchcraft attacks in your sleep. And you know, we have discussed that before. Witchcraft dreams. Earlier this year, I wrote an article called When Jezebel Witchcraft keeps you up at night. I wrote it in March, which along with October is a prime time for witchcraft manifestation. In March, it has more to do with the spiritual climate that stems from fourth Mary worship. Also, remember saints, what did we talk about? In October, it more about the witches, pagan, Wiccans, and heathen practicing witchcraft. We talked about the changes of the seasons, the equinox, amen, and the solist. As I explained in my article earlier this year, the enemy has used a different tactic in 2014. Since the spiritual forces of darkness could not slow me down by day, the attacks are coming at night. I've started having what I call witchcraft dreams. A more complex way of explaining it would be to say I've experienced dream activities inspired by witchcraft rumbling in the spirit climate or spiritual climate. 
in the spirit world. Praise God. While we watch kids dress up as witches and knock on doors, asking for candy, bonafide witches are celebrating their holy day and witches Sabbath. October 31st is also Samhain, a Gaelic festival that marks the finale of harvest season and the start of winter. One paganist Wiccan expert explained, it's a good time to contact the spirit world with a seance because it's the time when the veil between this world and the next is at its thinnest. Oh God. Symptoms of witchcraft. People who are especially sensitive to the spiritual realm can sense witchcraft in the atmosphere. As demonic activities increases, people report feeling of oppression, fatigue, strong spiritual warfare against the mind that makes you feel like quitting, and even physical manifestation for which doctors can't find a reason. Are you experiencing any of these things? When witchcraft is particularly heavy in the spiritual climate, my eyes actually burn. Everything seems like a much bigger deal than it really is because witchcraft works to take your eyes off Jesus by magnifying the problem. The enemy can use people to release witchcraft against you through word curses. But this spiritual force seems to sometimes hang over your head like a dark cloud unless you break it. Amen. In my book, Breaking Generational Curses, we discuss Satan. In Jennifer's book, Satan's Deadly Trio, Defeating the Deception of Jezebel, Religion and Witchcraft, I write, we need to be the gift of discernment to truly understand what we're battling. We can't effectively take authority over false authority in the name of Jesus if we can't discern what we're taking authority over. Sure, there are the genetic, I bind every spirit that is not of Christ in the name of Jesus prayer, but my experience tells me those will only take you so far in battle. Amen. So again, this author is teaching us that we have to be specific when we are binding and fighting in spiritual warfare. Praise God. Combating spiritual witchcraft. Just because you are exhausted, feeling oppressed, and battling in your mind or otherwise sense a struggle doesn't mean that you are necessarily battling witchcraft. You need the Holy Spirit to show you what is going on. That said, if it's October and you are constantly facing these symptoms, and specifically if you are having vivid nightmares, suddenly you should ask the Holy Spirit if witchcraft plays a role. Amen? Some people may not have nightmares, but they may have dreams that awake them. You know, some people, it's, it's, we're all different, but what I enjoy is the fact that we're all not the same. What goes bump in the night and may scare one person may not do the same thing to another person. Amen? A nightmare to one person may not be a nightmare to another person. Amen? So with nightmares and bad dreams, it could just be that you ate too much too late at night, that you are processing internal fears in your soul, that your subscription, excuse me, subconscious mind is drudging up strong emotions from your past or some other natural cause. However, it could also be spiritual witchcraft. If it is, what do you do? Now, recently, one of my brother's friends committed suicide. It is October. 
And this was a young man who I would have never thought would have done that. But again, many people will tell you, when people commit suicide and you look at them, you never would think it was that they would do something like that. Okay? But there are indicators. One thing I learned about this man, he was hiding because he stayed drunk a lot. Okay, and people who drink are in a lot of pain, drinking and drugging. Amen. So look, be on the lookout for them and try to talk with them, get them to talk to you about things that are going on with them emotionally. Because most people who drink and drug, they're loners or they're isolated, you know. They may be around a room full of people partying and carrying on, but they're not close to one person. So I wrote more about this in a past article called Overcoming Witchcraft, Attack Against Your Mind and Body. If you are experiencing nightmares, I also suggest reading that and also remembering that confessing this you shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flieth by day. Psalm 91 and 5. Because Psalm 91 is a protective psalm. And you should read that every day. Or a few scriptures, a few verses. Amen. What about this one? When you lie down, you will not be afraid. Yes. You will lie down and your sleep will be sweet. Proverbs 3.24 Pray over yourself, your family, especially your children, before you go to sleep. Plead the blood of Jesus and command these spirits to cease their operation in the name of Jesus. When God sends me on assignment to work in people's ministry, this is what he would have me do. Pray for them that the spirit, negative spirits, demonic spirits, ceased in their operation in that person's life. And he only has me there for a short time. Because again, I'm there to pray and to bind the spirit, to try to break Satan's hole without confronting the person that God sends me to. Amen. There comes a time where confrontation is necessary because people, God will send you in the midst of a person and they will not believe that there's something wrong with them. So then he would have you confront them and leave. Amen. If they do not believe what you say, he will send two other people. Because one thing I love about God, God sends at least two people to confirm his word. I'll say this to anybody. When God tells me one time, I try to get out of his way and do what he wants me to do. Because by the second time, I know they're coming with a prophetic word that's going to come true if I definitely don't move out of the way. And what do I mean? My health could go bad. My ministry can be disruptive. Okay? Or something could happen to a loved one. Amen? So, if you wake up with one of these bad dreams, do it again. You will pray over yourself before you go to sleep. Plead the blood of Jesus and command these spirits to cease their operation in the name of Jesus. Or Yahshua. The spiritual climate is intense for these next couple of weeks. But we are overcomers by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Amen. So, this is coming from... Jennifer LeClaire's new book, Charisma. And she had, as I said before, she's the director of Awakening House of Prayer in Fort Lauderdale. 
and author of several books, including Satan's Deadly Trio, Defeating Deceptions of Jezebel, Religion and Witchcraft, and the Spiritual Warrior Guide to Defeating Jezebel. You can visit her website, okay, anytime, and you can find her on Facebook and on Twitter. Again, brothers and sisters, I always like to bring information to you because I feel it's very important. Amen? Okay. Father, we thank you for this information on today. Once again, help and prepare us for this season, you know, where we'll be wrestling with wicked witchcraft, demonic, evil spirit. And we ask you to bless Jennifer LeClaire and each and every pastor and leader of the church worldwide. Keep them strong in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen.